Hey YouTube, it's Jonas again with uh, the Ravel 148 scale <coughs> Warthog Part 3. Um, uh, I'm actually going to start decaling on this uh, when I get this video finished. Um, but I just wanted to show it to you before I got all the decaling and stuff done. See the U.S. Air Force on that, but as you can see, I've got the uh, the uh, Maverick missiles and the uh, ALQ-119 ECM jamming pod on right here. Uh, it, it didn't want to fit together, but I just didn't really feel like wasting filler on something this small. Well, small by what means this thing's like three or four inches long. Um, but got the drop tanks on and the drop tank, excuse me, uh, the other Mavericks. Um, and I think I said this in the last video, uh, despite all the weight that I put on this, or on the front of this, hang on, oh, it was sitting on its front for a second there but now it's uh back to that hey you know I mean it'll it happens every now and then um but uh yeah I got the canopy on also painted this yesterday um Oh yeah, those stripes are uh, painted on. Those aren't decals. But real fast, I want to show you where I do uh, a lot of my model shopping. Uh, it's a website. I actually have it up on uh, my computer. I mean, my parents don't really use it anymore, so I've just kind of taken it over. But look, this is an old dinosaur of a computer. I'm sorry about the blurry camera work, but normally I'll just go in the model aircraft. You can go World War One. Sorry, sorry about that. Fighters, bombers, recon, and other aircraft. Then World War Two fighters, strike aircraft, bombers, seaplanes, other aircraft. Uh, then you go down Cold War fighters, strike aircraft, bombers, helicopters, other aircraft. And if you go down a little more, same thing with the modern era. And then there's non-military, like civilian light, airliners, and spacecraft. But uh, I'm just going to randomly go in the bombers here. Um, got all your different scales down here. I'm really sorry about this blurriness. I just uh, wanted to show you guys... Uh, who didn't know about this site? Let's just say I want a uh, B57 Canberra. I could go Airbit, Airfix 148 scale, Airfix in 172nd scale, uh, Italeri in 172nd, or Revel of Germany, uh, or Revel of Germany in 180th scale. So then click on one, you know, you can see everything down here, decals, um, one of the parts, uh, another one of the sprues, and another one of the sprues. So, as you can see, it's a, <clears throat> it's a pretty simple site. Um, I'll put the site name in the description, um, but I'm just going to say it now, it's scalehobbyist.com uh, S-C-A-L-E H-O-B-B-Y-I-S-T dot com for those of you who don't know how to spell scale or hobbyist I can name a few people um, then uh, if you're actually on the home page of it there's your recent arrivals if you go into model aircraft it shows you the recent arrivals of model aircraft you can click on that and look at everything. But <clears throat> let me 
fix it out of that real fast. But <clears throat> I'm leaving for uh, Florida this weekend. Uh, today's the 9th. Uh, we're leaving on the 13th on my mom's birthday. And uh, uh, well, there's a couple museums. There's one that I know we're going to go to because we've gone every year and it's sort of like a tradition that we have to go there. But I want to go to the uh, Naval, uh, I can't think of what it's called, but it's in Pensacola. It's like the uh, largest naval uh, aircraft museum, or largest naval museum, uh, I think, in the world. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of an interstate TDR-1. Um, it was an unmanned drone in World War II, and they have the only one left there. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And like uh, F-7U Cutlass, uh, I think they have a couple Bearcats there also. Uh, and I really want to see, uh, I think they have a, uh, George there, uh, Kawanishi N1K, uh, George. But back to the Tomcat. And I've used up six minutes. But, you can see the silver and black. I believe I showed that in the last video, but I'm going to start the decaling on this when I get this video done. And, uh, uh, it's basically, uh, oh yeah, that. Like I said, there. I don't know if I said what that was. I just weathered that to show, like a missile would launch and it sort of burn the wing a little bit. I'll do that back here with the exhaust too. But um, actually, if you guys are up for a little bit of an adventure, I'm thinking I'm going to show you the. Uh, uh, well, I just watched uh, Making Models Again newest video, and uh, what he said about the paint coming off with that Humbrol Mascol. Uh, I've never used Humbrol anything, but I'm going to show you a model that I had that exact same problem with, but uh, the paint just came off with my modeler's tape. This is, uh, I think it's Scotch Blue Tape, a painter's number one recommended tape. I better grab my uh, flat screen TV here and we'll go upstairs and uh, we'll go show you the model. video on that soon. To it. Go back downstairs where there's some better lighting. You can see it. Right there. Um, for those of you who, ouch, 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 ouch! I just kicked the chair. Um, for those of you who want something simple, do not choose this model brand. I have no idea how the heck you pronounce it. It's S M E R. I think it's Smer, but or Smer. I don't even know, but. You can see it kind of sits at an angle, um, but it's olive drab. This is a uh, Model Masters paint, and I uh, put the tape, I masked it up for the camo, and uh, when I peeled off the masking, uh, all the tape, or not all the tape, all the paint came with it, so that was kind of disappointing, but you can see the uh, detail and all that right there, but uh, no. 
If you have any questions about either of these models, ask me in the comments below. Um, but, no, that's the end of this video. Remember to rate the video, comment on the video, like the video, favorite to the video. If you're still watching my videos, you've watched more than one of my videos, you should subscribe to my channel uh, to see more modeling uh, and possibly some goofy stuff. Um, I think that was the first time I've ever shown you uh, my house besides the basement. But, uh, yeah, well, this is Jonas signing off. See ya.